in seemingly non-music related uh, news. Elon Musk has introduced an army of Optimus robots, says people will be able to buy them to complete tasks. Epic or not epic? Musk then said attendees could walk up to the Optus, Optimus robots who would do things like serve drinks. At scale, he says, you should be able to buy an Optimus robot for twenty to $30,000. It can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend. <laughs> I was thinking, how long before one of us... Um, <laughs> Jack Weasel's out there, teaches him how to play bass so he can sit around and solo all day. Oh, my God. Oh, we, we are living in a world that is rapidly changing. And I, I try to tell my daughter each day, you know, she, she'll say, oh, did you did you play? Um, uh, did you play Super Mario World when you was a, a baby? I said, no, we didn't have that. I said, it wasn't till, you know, it was probably seven or eight that we had Pong. If anybody remembers Pong out there, that was a, that was the height of technology. We thought, oh, this is amazing. I can sit and watch this. And there were all these rumors that the Pong was going to destroy your TV. And, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, I remember, I tell her, I said, look, you know, when I was a kid, we weren't able to just say, I want to watch Ninja Turtles and click on it and boom, it, it pulls up. We had, Remember the days, guys, when we had three channels and maybe what, one uh, UHF or VHF, I forget what it was, but you'd have three channels, say, on a Saturday morning. And, uh, one of the channels would have some, you know, guys in two suits talking about, uh, you know, politics or something. And like, nope, don't want to watch that. You flip over to the other channel and, uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, Marlon Perkins or Jacques Cousteau or something like that. And then maybe you'd turn over to the other and it'd be like a local wrestling channel. So, you know, for lack of anything better, to watch, you know, it'd either be Jacques Cousteau or wrestling. Sometimes there would be nothing on all three channels and maybe something on the, on the other dial, the UHF or the VHF. I forget which one. Let me know in the comments. But man, technology has rapidly changed and we're seeing the rise of AI and its capability its ability to create music now. And now you've got these robots. Do you, do you see where this is headed? Do you see um, what's going on? I've talked about on my channel, the rigors of the road, how difficult it can be to travel from city to city. And, uh, you know, but imagine now the cost that could be saved with robots on the road. Now it says in the description, oh, we can do tasks like mow your lawn. Okay. Well, I can think of um, the guy that cuts my grass, um, you know, twice a month. Uh, what, he's going to be out of a job now? Yeah, it might save me a few bucks. But, um, you know, this is going to take a lot of jobs. If it can serve drinks, and why wouldn't you put it in that dive bar? Why wouldn't you, you know, have one of these things, uh, doing some of these tasks? And, uh, man, you know, like I said, uh, why wouldn't you, if you're going to play tracks anyway, couldn't you just put a human humanoid face on a robot and have it stand there playing guitar? Or, um, you know, a band of robots, maybe with one human singing or maybe two humans out front. And eventually uh, people grow to start loving the robots and maybe the people, the frailty of the human being, the human nature, the heart of the human. Maybe someday people turn away from it or already greatly turned away from reality. You know, everything on pop radio is auto-tuned to death. 
music is no longer um, created the real way. People are being assisted in their playing, or their frailty of their human ability is now erased and replaced with technology. And um, man, it's it's uh, interesting times to live in. There was a Chinese proverb or something that said, uh, "May you have it, may you live in interesting times." And it certainly is for us old guys to know what it was like before, to know how hard it was to get a guitar tone, and how easy it is now to dial in, you know, on a modeler or even on the modern day rigs with the, you know, the pedal boards. Even if you're not using a modeler, you're still using modern technology with pedals. And uh, the way amps are designed now, it's still, and chances are there's probably a digital pedal on your pedal board. Even if you're an old school guy, you probably have a digital delay. It's probably something, you know, to replace that tape delay, really the, the best, the best sims are, um, digital, uh, reproductions of it. So it's just not necessary to carry some of that old technology, you know, with tube amp stuff. And now, you know, and like I, I just shot a video outside talking about how, you know, as we get older, we can't carry the gear anymore. It, it becomes, uh, you know, it could possibly injure you loading into the gigs. And that's where modeling and that's where, um, you know, modern technology and solid state amps and different things, uh, you know, processors, you could have all your effects on one little processor and not even, even if you're still using your tube amp, your pedal board chances are it could be a lot smaller and a lot lighter and a lot easier to carry. But imagine if you had an Optimus robot that could load in your gear and set up your rig and you could stroll in <laughs> like a prince, like a king and play your gig. But, um, and imagine if you needed to go pee and you said to Optimus, Optimus, Play this song with the band till I get back. And it picks up the guitar. Well, what if it plays it better than you? What if it plays it perfectly, flawlessly? And you can no longer do it that way. You sound too human, silly human. It's just a matter of time before these robots take all the jobs take all the opportunity, man, there's going to be a, um, you know, that, that handcrafted, handmade logo, you know, there's going to be guitar companies and, um, you know, products out there that are going to pretty soon very boldly and very proudly exclaim, uh, handmade, you know, uh, crafted by hand, you know, all these different kind of things that you see on products because more and more automation is coming. And, you know, when you've got a CNC uh, machine or you've got the Plex, you know, system, those are robots. Those are automation. And certainly the Plex system for guitars, Gibson, Plex, every guitar coming out of their factory. And it saves them a step. That's why they're doing it. It saves them. It gives their product a more, um, you know, uniform, finished feel. Um, it saves a lot of time, human hours. I'm sure this thing does it super fast and super accurate. And, you know, humans can, can only, you know, do so much. Um, there is sometimes, you, you know, in the rush of doing work and, and doing things, sometimes things are missed. Sometimes a fret edge isn't quite as smooth as the other fret edge. And that's just because, uh, we are human. We are real. And sometimes we make mistakes. Now, I'm sure in the early days of this technology, uh, these robots will be, um, you know, they'll make mistakes and they'll have issues and they'll have things that um, they don't do perfectly. But the reality is, man, the robots are coming and it's not going to be any limit to what they can do. And imagine taking 
five or six robots. They don't need to be in a nice star coach, a, a comfortable tour bus with nice bunks. No, you could just put them in the back of a trailer um, and they can ride in the trailer and uh, you'll have one technician that travel with you to keep the robots up and rolling. And you won't need those frail dancers. Okay, pop artists, this is coming for you. Yeah, you use tracks. Yeah, you don't have a band on stage. Yeah, you've got a DJ. Well, guess what? The DJ can be replaced. Most of those guys these days, if, if you're a young guy and you're going to see DJs and you think, oh, I'm going to go see this DJ and oh, he's amazing and all this. And all they're doing is bringing their laptop, plugging it in and pressing play and, and doing this. Man, you've already lost. You, you've you already lost this uh, race of, of, you know, humans being replaced. You're listening to a machine. You listen to a guy hit a playlist. And these guys are playing, uh, you know, and making huge sums of money. And you're paying huge prices to go to these these DJ, you know, festival type concerts and listen to these guys turn on a laptop and hit play. That's that's not a concert. Now, I get uh, I've certainly gone to many clubs where there were DJs and, and, and danced and had a good time and, and all that. I get it, man. You know, I, if I want to hear music, you know, sometimes sometimes that's the only option. And so you go in a club like that. But man, that's not something I seek out. I still seek out and and crave to hear the human touch, the human frailty, the human emotion, the human heart. But these robots and this technology is growing faster and faster each day. And if these robots are now twenty to thirty thousand dollars, man. There's going to be somebody over in uh, China who's going to get one, break it down, copy it, and you'll be able to get on Temu or Amazon and buy one for five to ten grand with maybe limited ability. But then for those super rich, they'll be able to buy the hundred thousand dollar version that's guarding their estate and standing watch at their door so that no one who may object to the terrible and awful atrocities that they may be doing behind closed doors. These robots will be protecting them. And you, you, with your piddly little base model Optimus robot will be able to do nothing about it. Your jobs will be replaced. Um, you know, in some cases, your companion will be replaced. They're, they're showing these robots playing board games with you sitting and playing cards. How many of us old guys out there who uh, maybe had a, a tough go at it uh, with marriage is just going to go, ah, oh, screw it. I'll just get me a robot. And maybe one day they have the SEX robot that maybe is $35,000 or $40,000. And it's always willing and it's always ready to go. We're fastly charging into a digital world where humans are being replaced. Your weaknesses, your frailty, your human emotion, it's not going to be needed much longer. Now, I can say this for us old guys out there. At least we don't have that much time to go, but we don't have to live it to know where this is all headed. And I'm not sure if you've watched any of the Terminator movies that this is headed for a good place. <laughs>